Hey, this is Ryan Higley, the digital artist who made the animated basement panoramic video you probably just got done watching. Uh, people have been asking me how I went about making it, so I decided to create this short video on the process that went into putting it together. This isn't an in-depth tutorial or anything like that. Just a quick look at the ideas, the visual concepts, and some of the programs that went into the project. So a little history. Back in the summer of 2013, my family and I had finally saved up enough money to finish our basement. My wife and I are artists, so we sure as hell weren't going to do it ourselves. So contractors were called, bids were accepted, all that. And as the project went forward, I would go in at the end of each day, place a tripod on marks I had made on the floor, and with a fisheye lens, take 10 or so pictures in a 360 degree circle of the progress. This went on during each day of construction. And in the end, I had about 25 days of pictures from the starting basement with just concrete to a finished one. Once I had all the photos together, my wife Catherine, who's a professional photographer, helped me color match and correct all the raw files. Thank you, Kathy. Next step was bringing them into Photoshop, which has a great panoramic creator under Automate, which gives some choices on how you want to stitch your photos together. I found that Sphere worked best for this project because it was using a fisheye lens and a full 360 degree rotation. So, after Photoshop had worked its magic, I had 25 rough panoramics to work with, each with a whopping 2,025 pixels high by 14,400 pixels wide. The clone tool helped me fill in the missing sections, and I was particularly careful to make sure I had a very clean, empty basement shot to begin with. I needed that because I was going to fit the rest of the panoramic layers into that master background. And now the fun began. I went through each panoramic and using the angled lasso tool, cut out any new piece of the basement that had been added, and then fit those pieces onto the master background. Because of variations in the panoramic, the pieces didn't always fit perfectly, so I would adjust them with the warp tool. This is really where the bulk of the time on the project went. It took me months to cut and fit over a thousand different layers to end up with this 700 megabyte Photoshop file that you see here. In fact, this might be a good time to mention that I had to double the RAM in my desktop for this project so the Photoshop could even handle it and not crash and burn every two minutes. Anyway, organizing and naming all the layers and folders was also a pain, but totally worth it, one for my sanity, and two for After Effects, then you'll see that later. Speaking of After Effects, this was my first big project in the software. So any experts out there want to write in comments about how big an idiot I am or how I could have done things better, go ahead, I might actually read them. Now how I did it was importing in the PSD file into After Effects, which by the way does a great job of converting folders into compositions. If you don't know about compositions, that's a great place to start in After Effects, and I'll link to a tutorial that I looked at in the description. Anyway, this meant that I could animate the different individual pieces of the basement in groups, and then decide when those groups would appear in the video. This really helped in keeping everything organized, and also helped me sync it up to the music. On a musical side note, I created the song for this video in a program called GarageBand, using some of the tools that it's all... <laughs> Alright, just kidding. I bought it off iStock Audio, actually, from a group called bon... Bonin... Bonineo? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, linking the compositions to the background also meant that I could animate the background separately and basically use it as my camera, panning from different parts of the panoramic as the composition layers built in. Finally, I saw that the camera moves looked a little uniform, so I shot this video with my cell phone and linked it to the background layer to give it some natural camera shake. There's a great tutorial on this, and I'll put it in the description of the video. After that, I rendered everything out, which at maximum rendering quality took about 12 hours. Well, that's a basic recap of the process I took for this project. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer as many as I can in the comments. I hope you like the video and have fun out there making digital art. Thanks.